Good morning. I guess it will be a good idea if we start immediately. I mean, if I start immediately to make some mosaics because I'm very late. That's the first design I'm gonna make. It's a, a train, person train with our word sub means what's up and love. What we need in these days. So if you wanna see that um, preparation about mesh and nylon, because I get that question a few times, uh, you will put your uh, drawing on your, your design on the table, you need some tape. I will explain you why I'm using this. So let your a little space to work if you want it at the edge or if you want it somewhere in the middle. It's your decision. I'm gonna tape it on the table. Then we need that that nylon stuff. And why we are using this nylon stuff? We need that nylon stuff because we don't want that our mosaic stick on the paper. That's all the reason we need this. I'm gonna, you know, this thing is huge. So just. Uh, open it, turn it, and cut a piece you like. And then... You open it this way. You see, it's a long shift. We need a tape once again to stick it on the paper. Or stick it directly on the paper, it's much better, but you can stick it on the table. One and two. We need a little more. We don't need this, but we will need it after for the other stuff. So don't uh, be afraid to spend that stuff because it's so cheap. You don't even think about it. You don't need to think about it. But I will put it somewhere. I can use it maybe another time. Mosaic mesh. Looks like this. One meter is this dimension. So I just put it on and cut it. Okay. You can roll it again. By the way, it has the Sobranto moment, which is nice. You know, there are different kind of mosaic mesh, actually. Some of them are, I mean, this is, I guess, 120 uh, gram per square meter so there are actually some which is only 50 gram per square meter and that kind of you can you can just um, pull it and it gets deformed and stuff this one is nice so keep in mind put it on paper nylon mosaic not mosaic, mesh. Once again, taping.
I know a lot of you know about this setup, but I'm gonna share it once again. You see, this is some um, going up and down, so we need a little tension. That's why I'm using that tape actually. Once again. Yeah. That's it. We are ready. What about that color? Hello? So. Here it is, this is how it looks like. We have the paper, we have the nylon, and then we put the mosaic mesh colors. I put it all here. They are looking like um, graffiti colors somehow. They look nice, not bad. This is the one that I'm using for the train. Um, I mean for the whole array of the train the windows will going black and then we have that graffiti stuff so I want to start with cut this I'm gonna show it you after because the video will be too long and I don't want to spend your time and then we will meet and by the way do you mind if I say some about I'm not give any advices things I said in this in those videos are just things I I'm doing kind of so